there are different types of turns available, depending on the circumstances in flight. When learning to fly, and when flying under visual conditions, that is, when you can see out the window and use the horizon for guidance, turns are made at 30 degrees angle of bank. That is called a standard rate turn. When flying in instrument conditions, e when visibility outside the airplane is not possible, turns are done at what is called, rate 1. The definition of rate 1 is a turn maneuver in which an aircraft changes its direction at a rate of 3 degrees per second. This equates to 360 degrees, a full circle, in 2 minutes, for light and medium speed aircraft. For high speed aircraft, the standard rate of turn is 1.5 degrees per second. That equates to 360 degrees in 4 minutes. We will now look at how to determine how the turn will be rate 1. A rate 1 turn will be used for climbing turns, and, as mentioned, it is used for instrument flying. It provides a lower bank angle, which creates less movement for the pilot and less disorientation when flying under instrument conditions. It also enables air traffic control to know how long a turn will take, helping them to plan accordingly. Here's a shout out to our helpful friends in air traffic control. To determine the rate 1 turn angle of bank, simply find 15% of the current airspeed. So if you are flying at 100 knots, it will equal 15 degrees of bank. Let's look at some other ways to find the bank angle for rate 1 turns. Flying at 80 knots. Drop the 0, which leaves 8. Half of 8 is 4. So add the 4 to the 8, and that gives us 12 degrees. So a rate 1 turn at 80 knots will equate to 12 degrees of bank angle. What about when we are flying at over 100 knots? The same method can be used. Let's take 120 knots. Drop the 0. That's 12. Half of 12 is 6. Add 6 to 12, and our bank angle for 120 knots is 18 degrees. You may have now realized why there is a 4-minute turn for high-speed airplanes. Take 200 knots. Drop the 0 to get 20. Half of 20 is 10. Add 10 to 20 is 30. So that's already a 30-degree angle of bank. It makes sense to limit the bank angle at these speeds and not have airplanes flying excessive bank angles. Usually, 25 degrees is the maximum bank angle in controlled airspace. Depending on the type of instruments you use, the rate 1 turn will be depicted differently. For a newer glass type instrument panel, the rate 1 turn will be indicated by something similar to the Garmin 1000 shown here. On the Garmin, there is a magenta line above the heading rows. You can see to the left of the current heading, two lines. The first indicates a rate 2 turn. That takes 4 minutes to complete a 360 degree turn. The second line indicates the rate 1 turn. You can see the rate 1 turn indicated here. On the analog instruments, a rate 1 turn is usually indicated on a turn coordinator as shown here. When the airplane symbol's wings are on this line, the airplane will be achieving a rate 1 turn. Be aware, this is the only thing it represents. It shows a rate of turn. It does not show bank angle.